Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com nightly wrap up show. Hope everybody is doing well. Uh, last time we spoke was uh, Wednesday. Uh, we did our normal video. We talked about potential uh, breakouts in uh, NVIDIA, 10 day reclaim on Tesla, Microsoft broke out, came back a little bit later today. Um, but you know, you had a really, really good sense of how strong the market was uh, for the first half of the year. Uh, the end of June also marked uh, the half, you know, halfway point to the year, 2023 is just absolutely crazy. It just feels like you just started, but you look back at the first half of 2023, we've been in a bull market again, uh, ever since the bulls reclaimed, um, the 50 day moving average on, especially on the queues on January the 11th, January 12th, this is how strong the market's been. And just to kind of put it into perspective, um, the first half a year, netted out a 39% gain. Uh, that, that's never happened in the history. In all these years, it never happened uh, in the history of Wall Street. And again, the whole theory of, well, it's only five stocks that are moving a sire. That's obviously, that's obviously false. You got to be in complete denial uh, to think it's only five stocks taking the market up. You have even Bitcoin stocks moving up, Mara, Riot. Uh, you have, you have, you have uh, cloud names, you have storage names, you have software names. You have everything under the sun. And the moral of the story is we started uh, this today, started the first day of 2023, the back half. Uh, and just like, you know, just like the, you know, just like the first half, we ended green, right? You look at the numbers again, as you can imagine, a quiet day. Uh, you had the Dow up 10 points, you had the S&P up five points, uh, and you had the NASDAQ up uh, 29 points to end the session. As you can imagine as well, uh, the first 15, 20 minutes of the day was aggressive. And, you know, on every, you know, a major holiday, especially a day before, uh, day before um, uh, 4th of July, volume dried up very, very quickly. Uh, before we get started, can kind of continue, kind of go through the day's events. Uh, if you are brand new to the channel, guys, we really like to uh, invite you to subscribe. Subscribe to the channel if you like uh, technical analysis and unbiased thoughts of the market. Um, I think I can facilitate a pretty good idea of kind of, you know, going through my eyes as somebody who's been trading for 24, going on 24, 25 years, a long, long time. Um, you know, kind of how I look the market on a day-to-day -day basis. And hopefully you guys will share uh, the enjoyment and really uh, get a lot of value. So like, subscribe, share, uh, all that uh, good stuff. But here's the, you know, here's the major, you know, major points of the day. Um, I don't think, you know, I don't think the indexes really make a difference. Um, I think the individual names... Uh, kind of played out uh, very, very, uh, you know, very, very well. So uh, Tesla, right? Last time we spoke was that Wednesday, Tesla needed to get above the 10-day moving average, right? All you got to do is go to back to Wednesday's video. Yeah, as you can imagine, it went through the 10-day moving average, confirmed two more days, started building two more days. Uh, over the weekend yesterday, uh, they came out with delivery and production numbers. And as you can see, uh, stock was up uh, 6% today. Only reason why I even stopped uh, for the day, just hit the upper Bollinger Band. Uh, we started seeing short-term, um, you know, short-term 300 calls uh, coming in. Not a lot of size, as you could imagine. The you know the Hamptons crowd, uh, people are on vacation. The ones that are really swinging a big, uh, big stick are not there to place bets. But as you, they, as you can imagine, uh, coming people coming back after Wednesday will you know put a, a good jolt in this thing. I, I think any dips on, on Tesla, you know, is, you know Wednesday. Tomorrow we're off uh, Wednesday. Any dips into rising 60 minute support uh, should be bought. And I wouldn't be shocked, uh, you know, for having this conversation, uh, you know, at some point in the middle of the week or towards the end of the week that, hey, look at Tesla at 300 on deck. So it's a very, very strong, uh, strong, powerful uh, rally, especially when you reclaim the 10 day moving average. Uh, you have good option flow uh, leading up to the production numbers. You have good option flow uh, on Friday. And today was a situation they started rolling them out. Uh, into the short-term expiration of 300s. I even saw uh, some 320s. Another name, right? Another name that confirmed its recent highs on Friday, and we'll go to, you know, we'll go through the pivots in a second, 
was Rivian. You know, if you guys remember, we you know, we've been talking about Rivian 1750 calls they've been coming in for the last month when the stock was at 14, 14 and a half, 15, 13 and a half when it came back. They were constantly, even on weakness, coming in for the 17 and a half calls, just like Tesla. They came up with their production numbers, uh, you know, and and I, you know, the stock, the stock knocked it out of the ballpark. You know, the stock was up uh, nearly 17 percent for the year, uh, for the for the day. Excuse me, 17 percent for the day. And just like the old adage goes, somebody always knows something. And for all those people, uh, all those people who were making those bets when the stock was at 13 and a half, 14, 14 and a half dollars. Those 1750 July expiration calls. Well, there you go. You know, they, you know, winner, winner, chicken dinner. So I know a lot of you guys uh, came in long with the end again. Uh, it broke out on Friday above the 1632 range. So great job. I mean, really great job, for, especially for all you guys who had Tesla, who had Rivian. Uh, really, really uh, big moves. You know, going into, uh, going into Wednesday, I'm assuming, you know, I'm assuming we're going to get more liquidity back again people are i understand people are on vacation I, and i get it it's a great time to kind of get away because it's kind of in the middle of the week you might stay on vacation take the full week off uh but you can see the charts starting to set up on a lot of you know on a lot of names uh again you're not going to get anything out of you know trying to dissect the cues the cues are running right the cues are running it looks like you know it looks like this week uh they want to you know test this top of the cha channel here of this 373 if you guys remember uh, the video on Tuesday going into Wednesday, how important that 365, you guys remember 365, 365, 365? Well, the Qs are uh, through almost 371, almost 372 at the top of the range. That, you know, again, that 10 day, uh, that 10 day reclaim, the same thing we saw on Tesla, the same thing we saw on Microsoft, the same thing we saw on Qs. Uh, you know, that's a big, big deal. So when you see a chart set up and they start reclaiming this 10 day moving average, usually, uh, good things are going to happen. Uh, when you look at the SPY again, just you know, a stone throws away from the 50, all, you know, from the yearly highs. Uh, IWM, you know, getting a little bit, a little bit toppy here, but you, you can clearly see a little, little bit of double top here. Uh, the IWM is going to need to get above this 89 and a quarter level to start its next leg up. But you know, so so far so good. You know, so far so good. Uh, not every single day. Uh, you need to go for that nine run home run that doesn't exist. Some days you just got to manufacture runs. Uh, take whatever the market gives you. Uh, when I logged on today, you know, when I logged on today, I really didn't know what to expect. I really didn't have a lot of uh, expectations. And again, like I say all the time, when you don't have a lot of expectations, uh, you don't have a lot of disappointments. And today, it was actually a pleasant surprise here. And let's, you know, let's talk about the pivots in a second. So, um, you know, so here it is, you know, you know, congratulations to all those who held uh, Rivian overnight, you know, 18 on deck. That was pre-market stock trade, almost a 20. Uh, like again, all those 1750 calls uh, as you know, as um, uh, as billions, which is coming back for its last season. I believe it's on August 11th. Uh, again, great line in that in that show. Uh, you know, I am not uncertain. All those 1750 buyers, they were not uncertain. But the stock broke out. The reason why people were long uh, over the weekend, the stock broke out on Friday above 1632, and now we have almost 20 dollars. Uh, same thing, you know, same thing with, with Tesla. Congrats to all those holding Tesla, right? Uh, delivery numbers uh, has the stock orbiting uh, orbiting the earth. It broke out on, on it broke out on Friday at 261. Uh, Pre-market, it was trading in the 277s, 278s. So it was actually a natural pivot that, that I took it. A lot of you guys took it as well for some cash flow. So, you know, really, really nice moves. Uh, MRNS never got to uh, 1115. Uh, again, everything basically happened here at the open uh, AMD 1470 needs to build, um, you know, nice pop, you know, nice pop on AMD, uh, took out the 1470, 15 level. It went only up to almost 17. Um, let's see what else we have here. Um, next, I still like NVIDIA. I didn't, I didn't get any NVIDIA. NVIDIA was just too fast and too liquid for me, but for all you guys that get a good job, uh, 2550 needs to build. Uh, here was NVIDIA. It took out the 2550. And you can see here, it took out the 25.50 and went to about 29 and change before kind of rolling over. And everybody still looks good. They're coming for the four, you know, 430s, 440s uh, for this week and next. A, a lot of really good uh, action and options mark. And Meta never got there. Uh, Amazon only went up like 30, 40 cents from its pivot and everything else reversed. Uh, here is the opening range highs on, on Tesla. Uh, you know, 621 the highs was 277 builds. For experienced traders, it took out the 277. Like I said, guys, 
make some sales 282 283 that was supply went to 284 but it hit supply and kind of reversed down so that was you know that's kind of my like my one and done trade for the day and that's it you know that's it so you know going into uh wednesday uh obviously you know if tesla doesn't gap up we're looking for any dips uh to try to get some into rising 60 minute support we're gonna try to do the same thing uh with rivian uh let me give you guys a couple of names that I am watching for uh, Wednesday, right? Let me give you guys a couple of names. Uh, let's see what we got here. Um, all right, let's start off. Uh, yeah, let's start off in Marvel. Uh, Marvel had uh, Marvel had a really nice quarter, and the stock hasn't done anything since the quarter ended. But now it's showing a little bit of life. This is the highest close in this whole formation. Keep an eye on this channel here from the end of June. If it could start reclaiming this middle channel, who knows? Maybe it could get a move to 62, 63. Keep an eye on that. Um, I like and continue to like Roblox. If this damn thing ever finally confirms this channel here, this thing's going to wake up here, guys. Look at this. One, two, three times, right? Four times. Got rejected off the upper Bollinger Band. If it could just finally get above the upper Bollinger Band on uh, Wednesday, Thursday, hell, Friday, it's Sunday at this point. I don't even care. If this thing could finally get above the four, you know, that, that that big area there, I think it's gonna go. You know, it's gonna go. It looks really, really good. And the last one uh, I want to share with you guys. Yeah, look at UPST, right? Look at it. UPST uh, had a really terrific run. Came back in again, reclaimed the ten, right? Birth of the trade started running, and now it's the stone throws away from uh, the, the June uh, sixteen highs. If this thing starts confirming. Uh, maybe this thing uh, wakes up as well. So if you are still on vacation, guys, have an awesome vacation. Go enjoy your life. Go enjoy your family, your friends, your loved ones, everything uh, under the sun. We'll be back. You know, we'll be here when you come back. If you are trading Wednesday, it's a normal trading day. Uh, hopefully you guys have a great uh, 4th of July. God, God bless America. God bless everyone. Hope everybody uh, is happy and healthy and more important, alive to tell about it. Guys, have a great, great fourth, and I will see you all on Wednesday. Take care.